Okay, it stopped raining about two hours ago. Let's take a look at the standing water here. The garden's all elevated enough that it doesn't have any trouble. I'm standing right next to the garden. Our hostas are a little bit flooded. But that's okay, this doesn't have mulch yet. It's a good thing this Japanese maple is raised up or it would have trouble with being unhappy if it was this wet. And the backyard, which has definitely definitely gone down considerably here, but the entire backyard all the way through, um, all the way over to the far side is all wet. Um, this, I guess, is still draining down. I mean, yeah, this is like draining down through here from Jan John's yard. And, oh, well, it's like carried away mulch from all over the place, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, carried away a bunch of their mulch and uh, actually made a great big pile here. That's so much water. You see, that, that willow would be a lot happier if it was down a little bit lower, but it's still getting plenty of water. So, uh, and so am I, I guess. I mean, it's water on my feet. But, um, yeah, it's pretty wet back here. But yeah, it's just how much rain we had that quickly that took all that mulch out of their beds and washed it right over there. Yeah, the other beds are still pretty inundated. But, uh, this is a lot higher here on the side. It's still pretty stoopy, though. The spots. Into the road, still very wet. It's okay, Socks. I'll be right there. Still some standing water over here. I've never seen this much water standing in this yard before. Ugh. Ugh. Then back here, all the standing water. Some pumps running like crazy. And let's see here. Oh yeah. Let's get the shot over here. This is the neighbor's yard on the other side. It's an actual, actual whole pond going back there. You can see that. And all around there are bavitey trees here. So, and our water is a couple, in, couple inches deep here in the grass and then over by the house behind us, that's fairly flooded. In. Back corner is flooded there. So, it's getting to the point where it's, um, it's too much water for all but the water loving plants. So, I'm not sure our, our red oak is terribly thrilled about it, but at least it's in the front yard where it's not quite as wet. These poplars, I think it's great. The maples are all doing well. The willows, of course, do very well with it. Hey guys! But, um, yeah, this, this, our yard's front yard is definitely 
you know, I look at the elevation here, our front yard is significantly raised compared to the, you know, the neighbors uh, on that side. And even over here, you know, I think we're actually higher than, than their front yard. But then if you look in the back, our, we have a significant drop off, like, you know, probably a, almost a foot or something from their main, main level of their backyard to where our backyard level is. So, yeah, everything's, you know, there's not really much any standing water up anywhere here in the front yard. So that's good. I'll probably be, be fine for this, for the oak. So those leaves yellowing a little bit. And, yeah, but I think that's going to be fine. So. And they're still talking about more water, more rain tonight. This is definitely the most I've seen this tree flooded. I mean, it's, it was, no, it wasn't even, it wasn't even really this much before. I mean, this is the most 